Hello everyone and welcome to National Honor Wrestling. I am the owner and commentator, Mr. Kim Washington, and we are emanating live from East Lansing, Michigan. I believe that is where we are. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, Tonight we've got a good show for everybody. Glad that you could join us here. And starting us off here tonight, we uh, we're having a fatal five way battle royal. Oh, yeah! Look at that. The following contest is a fatal five way match. Making his way to the ring from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 219 pounds, Adam Stasia. And Adam Stasiak is one of our new signees here in NHW. And we're kind of excited to see what's going to happen here. This match uh, is a battle royal five-man. I don't know how they're going to handle this. It might be pin. It might be over the top rope. I, you know, I'd set the match up. Whatever. We're just going to ride with it. But, uh... Yeah, with that being in mind, he is one of our new signees, and this match here will be for the number one contender spot towards the television championship. Uh, that's already going to be defended tonight uh, against Purple Haze, but his uh, next challenger will come right out of this. <laughs> Let's see who we have coming to the ring next. <laughs> Pretty quiet. You don't believe in music? <laughs> and an, another new signee here. Just coming out to the ring. Well, that's definitely definitely a business walk going on there. Eight Doesn't look. Opponents. Oh. First, from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 188 pounds. Hunt Man Angel and Angel, as we said, is an another Sunny. And I don't know what to make of this man. I mean, he doesn't have any music. He doesn't have really anything. He's just coming out to silence. Um, but he looks like he has business on his mind. So we will see if he will be able to get it done here today and, and move on and, and face whoever wins between the Savior and Purple Haze uh, for that uh, that uh, television title opportunity that this winner will get next week. So uh, let's see who we have coming out next. And, oh... This is new. That was some loud music there. Who do we have coming out here? I need to know. Oh, I believe this is another one of our new signees coming out to the ring now. Pretty sure. Yep. This is uh, one of our Japanese signees going on here. We, uh, we were really impressed when we went overseas and saw him make a few... A few wrestling rounds we, we really liked what we saw so you know we offered him something and he was very happy to come join us here uh, Kojima I know is his last name me and his first name we've been fighting for about a week as I've been preparing to say it but uh, that's okay cuz he's here now and uh, yeah we're gonna make sure that uh, you know he is seen here very colorful Two hundred twenty-one pounds, Najib the Dragon. 
and look at him here. Like I said, we were very impressed with him, and we think that he'll be a very, uh, very nice addition to the roster here. Uh, two of his opponents are already out there, and he is ready to go now. He is really pumping up the crowd for this match. And, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pumped up for it too. To be honest with you, this is uh, this is very exciting. And only my second week is on her. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let's see who we got next coming out here. Nope. I don't know who that music belongs to, but I'm sure. Oh yes, I do. We saw him earlier in the week as well. And this is Jay Walker once again. Um, he is somebody that we saw a little earlier in the week. Uh, yeah, I pay attention to my competition. We saw him wrestle for another promotion um, with his knees out. Uh, you, I don't know why that irks me. I said it then and I'll say it again. Knees out. I don't. I don't know why people go for your knees. Maybe it's because I'm a wrestler too. But whatever. So we saw him earlier in the week, and he decided, hey, I want to give this an HW stuff a shot. So we were like, gladly. And we let him come on over here. And again, this match, good old prove yourself match. Good way to get yourself, your name out there in the lights as you'll be facing the television champion next week. And we know who this is just based off that music. Yep, we saw him in the junior heavyweight tournament. And as I said, we saw Mr. Awesome in the junior heavyweight. Um, he he didn't fare too well. He actually faced off against somebody we'll see later in the night. Um, at that time, he was called Roland Wheeler. Now he is called um, Johnny Diamond. Uh, okay, that's his name, whatever. Uh, but he is called Johnny Diamond now, and he will actually be facing later in the night Justice Rage. Um who is going for a little single stuff here in uh, NHW, but he'll still be in tag teams elsewhere. Um, he just wanted me to put that plug out there for him. Um, but we are very excited to see what goes on in this match. I'm very excited to see what goes on in this match. I'm enjoying this ownership. I ain't putting it on the line for nothing or nobody. I don't care how much Franco wants to uh, cry about it. So we have our five competitors they are ready and here we go and Corey starting off already as the rest of them just kind of look around and yep I believed it he walked him right into the corner and this is over the top rope and Angel already trying to work on Kojima not enough there to get him over neither was it on the other side for Stasiak and good lord that there's a lot of slaps going on here. And good lord of mercy, Jay Walker already eliminated. I don't know what just happened there. All I saw was feet in the air and him out on the floor. And Angel with a very innovative stretch here. But, I mean, with this being over the top rope, that's not going to help you out at all. So you might want to change your strategy there. Um... And I hope Jay Walker is not, you know, too uh, too upset about that. Because guess what? You're going to get more opportunities here. I guarantee it as your owner. Uh, Angel on the apron there. And Corey coming out to see him. And Adam Stasiak getting hung up. And Kojima just out here just throwing feet at everybody. Them, them, them foots. Like that foot he tried to give Stasiak, but caught a clothesline for his trouble. And Angel again trying to uh, get his second elimination of the night and goes flying over the top rope. He got a little overzealous there, but as I just said with Jay Walker, there will be more opportunities for you. I guarantee it. Um, kind of can't deny that one. Here we go, and one of these three men will be going on next week for that TV title. Uh, Corey Awesome right now with the advantage, but I mean, Adam Stasiak is over there. Ooh, Celtic Cross, I believe that is what they've been referring to it as, but um, Adam Stasiak over there kind of getting his air while the other two fight, and 
I don't think that's a bad move. That's actually a smart move. As, oh, woo, boy, that would have been a long ride if he had went down to the floor. And now Kojima over here having to fight off two men. Adam Stasiak with the snap suplex. And Corey Awesome thinks it's a good time to taunt. And Stasiak said, nah, bruh. Uh, what are you doing? As he got a gut buster for his troubles. Missed with the elbow. But Awesome didn't miss that drop kick. Stasiak a little dazed and confused as he gets helped up by Corey. And he gave him a strong right hand for his troubles. That's a that's a thank you if I've ever seen one. And a STO there from Kojima. Sorry about that. Had a little camera issue, but it's all good. We're all good here. No, let's not worry about that. Let's enjoy this match as he's mutilating the body parts. Kicked him right in the spine. And Corey Awesome with a innovative looking tiger suplex there. And all right, kicks to the face, yeah, because that's what we're about. We got uh, we got the kicks, we got the hits, and Adam Stasiak is really he's just he's watched more than anything else. I would put my money on him, but with over the top rope matches, you never know. Mm. And whatever Corey was going for there, he caught an elbow for his troubles twice, and then a kick to the gut, and. A hard throw to the corner, and is a Kojima gonna help him here? Nope, doesn't need to. Corey gets tossed out, and Adam Stasiak, and you, yeah, I'm gonna just go with his last name, Kojima. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, they're the last two in the ring. Uh oh. He picks him up for the power bomb, and wow, what a strong power bomb from Kojima as he picks him up and gets reversed. He no sold that, and <laughs> told him exactly what he wants him to do. That's that's not nice, but whatever. This is this isn't a PG rated show. Well, it's close. PG thirteen. There we go, and here we go, and missed the clothesline. Gives him a clothesline of himself right into that kip up. And I think the rock star is tired of Kojima back on his shoulders. And he has him up for the power bomb. And Kojima said, nah, bruh, that's not how we doing this. And oh, picks him up into a nice uh, innovative suplex there. That was, uh, that was very interesting to watch. I kind of like that. And now he's just kind of standing over his opponent, maybe gathering his breath. But at the same time, Stasiak is gathering his. So, you know, we don't we don't want that in the world. But he's letting Stasiak get to his feet. Maybe he's setting him up there. Yep. Well, he went for the right hand, missed it. Stasiak catches him with the ooh, side effect backbreaker twice. Do we get a do we get a hat trick? We got the hat trick. That hurt my spine. I'm glad I'm over here and not in the ring right now. And Stasiak backs into the corner. Uh oh. Oh boy. Bad intentions are coming from the bottom of that foot. Just kicked his head off into the third row. And now is the perfect time. Wait. Nope. He, he messed that up. In for another snap suplex there and now he's going to drag him to the middle of the ring I don't think that's going to help him oh what an innovative neck breaker there that was that was pretty cool I don't know why he told the crowd to hush but that was still pretty cool and a kick to the midsection yeah, I hope that was to the midsection <laughs> Let's, we'll just say that was to the midsection um, kick to the gut up and ooh, brain buster right on top of his head and Adam Stasiak is in complete control at this point and then I spoke and here comes Kojima with a slap that was a hard slap right to the chest just mm. and then a kick to the, to the sternum area there Stasiak oh, tried it again and Got a kick right to where the Charlie horses begin. 
And now another innovative suplex there from Adam Stasiak. This man had a lot of moves in his arsenal. And now he's dragging him back to the middle of the ring. But this is over the top rope. So, mm, kick to the back of the head. Why is he not trying to throw him out? He's going to mess around and get himself eliminated. And here goes Stasiak. He's had enough. And whoo, that super kick right over the top rope. And yeah, kind of called it. But yeah, there is your winner. Uh, Adam Stasiak. That was a heck of a battle royal. The power bombs, the moves. It, it, was, it was good wrestling right there, even though it was over the top rope. Um, but I think we'll have something going on here next week. Let's see what happens. You know, um, the rock star Adam Stasiak has officially won. There's that kick. I, I would have flew over the top rope too, bro. And I'd do a spear. Here is your winner, Adam Stasiak. So with that, Adam Stasiak, next week we'll be going on to face the winner of tonight's television title match. And we'll see if he can repeat this success. And what's going on here? No. Well, it looks like these two are going to have words again. I wonder how these words are going to go. Is it going to wind up like last week? Yep. Right out the gate. They're already starting on each other. And, ooh, Amaya missed with that knee. And Ashley sent to hit her with that neck breaker out there on the ground. That that hurt. That's got to hurt. Uh, and then a spinning hook kick. Or not a spinning, but a hook kick. A shades of a Booker T type move there. Now they're giving out elbows and... Amaya's a little stunned, but was able to block that, and now it looks like they're going to take a stroll for a second. Where are they going? Oh, to Elbowville. Yeah, getting some elbows there for her troubles. Oh, man, so we, we got to get somebody back there. These two are going to hurt each other if they don't stop. This is ridiculous. We went to throw her. That didn't work. She got thrown, and now they're just kind of battling it out here. You got Ashley there with them kicks and punches. And, oh, poor Amaya. And, ooh, a Northern Light suplex. Wait. Oh, she held on into a suplex. Woo! There's some heavy moves from the champ there. But, you know, as champion, she knows that she has plenty of contenders. And this one right here, she's, uh, mm, threw her right into that crate. She's, uh, this contender looks like she's ready to play, you know. We saw her earlier this week on a, another program, and she didn't quite have the best of luck there, but she looks like she's faring pretty well right here. Um, sorry about that. And I'm just noticing I'm probably a little loud on my mic, but it's all right. Anyway, here we go. They are still battling it out. Got dropped on top of the, the, the crate there. and Oh, Ashley going to go up top. Two of the crate telling her to get up when she's going for a double axe handle right to the head. I don't. As an owner, I don't like to see this. Ooh, I really don't like to see that because, you know, injuries can happen back here. This isn't something that we want to see from our competitors, but at the same time, it makes for some great, great TV. So, with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and give this a little watch right here. As I'm calling Aaron to get his security back there. I don't know that it'll matter here in a moment. But, well, I lied. There was a good little uh, blockage there from Amaya. And another block. Oh, spinning heel kick there from Mrs. Zenda. And those knee pads, and she's back up top. And, oh, a double foot stomp right to the stomach. Ow, ow. That hurt. That hurt me to watch. And, oh, a clothesline. They're still going at it here. Nope. Puts her in. Hooks her up. And Ollie you right on her face. Almost running into that danger sign. Oh man, this is uh This is heavy here. Ooh, a high knee for her troubles. What do we got going on here? Oh, oh, Zender with the oh with the spinning neck breaker again. And I'm just I don't know what's gonna happen here, but 
I, I have an idea, you know, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and put this out here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give Miss Jade here a, uh, a title opportunity because I don't think there's going to be any other way to settle this. These two are not going to stop until they just get their hands on each other in the ring. Uh, we got people in the back around there trying to do an interview, don't even know that there's beatings going on there. <laughs> it's, ooh, Maya Jade getting the advantage here. Just a strong right hand, and went for something, but got it reversed into a. a I'm gonna call it a neck breaker. It looked like a neck breaker from here. I mean, I'm only looking at this from a small screen. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm too lazy to look up at the Titan Tron that I'm paying all this money for. Um, but it looks like. Ashley Zinda has had enough and she's asking for Jay to get up there. A kick to the stomach, grabs both arms, and a DDT right on the top of her head. That is it. And now. Okay, she can have it. Please don't mess up the names. And this man coming to the ring is one of the, uh, he's one of the competitors from when we had the uh, Battle Royal for the first NHW television champion. And he just, um, he, he came at me as eccentric as you see him walking to the ring right now. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I didn't know what to do with that. So I just kind of uh, nodded my head. And the next thing I know, um, I'm signing a paper giving him a, uh, a television title match. So, yeah, that that happened. Um, but Purple Haze here um, coming to the ring. Like I said, he's as eccentric as ever. Him and ECC in this purple lighting. I, I think that would get along. Uh, but ECC's not here for all that. He's got other business to handle later tonight. But, uh... As I said, Purple Haze here getting his opportunity to dethrone the savior of the NHW Television Championship and uh, the well, the savior is still the first champion, and this will be technically his second title defense. So if he can manage to defend the title against uh, Purple Haze here, as eccentric as he is roaming around the ring here oh dear I really think we're gonna get fined one of these days for this but uh yeah you know if, if he can uh dethrone the savior then he will start his reign and will need his eight title defenses but again eight title defenses gets you an automatic world title opportunity so it, the tv title is kind of important here it's a it's a it means something to the business there you go so with that in mind he's made his way to the ring and now we await his opponent the national honor wrestling television champion and there he comes right there the savior just coming down to the ring that belt and his clothes are not getting along but we won't talk about that um Speaking of that, and this is weird, it just came back to mind, but I was told that I have a radio voice, and I don't know how to take that. I don't do a lot of talking, I do a lot of fighting, I'm a wrestler, damn it. I mean, what do, what do you want from me? Anyway, the savior coming to the ring now, with that belt around his waist, looking to hopefully make this his second title defense of eight, as I said, and... Uh, this, this should be a good match. I'm, I'm hoping for a good match. But whoever wins here will face the winner of the first match of the night, Adam Stasiak, for that very TV title that is around the waist. So we will see what happens with that. Um, I, I don't even know what else to say about it. But now let's go to the ring and hope that the announcer doesn't, uh, doesn't get fired this week. Yeah.
Introducing the challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 217 pounds, the ladies' man. Introducing the champion from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the National Honor Wrestling Television Champion, the Savior. And he's handing that belt to the referee, looking at it with with all the love because he knows what that title means to this company um purple haze is ready the savior is ready we've been shown the championship god that's a beautiful title uh, and look look at this look at this all right well here we go they're ready they're ready there goes the bell rumble and we started it off with a backbreaker so you know that's good i like that and Purple Haze getting the advantage here early on with a ooh, nice little innovative spinning neck breaker there. Kick to the back. That's the second one he's giving him. Savior rolls out of the way and hits him with a spine buster of sorts. Kicks him right in the chest and then gets caught up on that hair catches a mean flying clothesline for his problems another kick to the back that now makes three and uh, interesting little stretch here I don't know if this is a submission or not but mm, mm, whatever it is the savior is not happy about it and broke out with a couple punches and kicks and a hip toss for his problems Took his arm over there and took him back down. And so far, the Savior, he, is, well, I can't say that. It's been a back and forth affair going on so far. Ooh, rolling clothesline there. That was that was interesting to see. Um, and the Savior showing his power there. Just a deadlift into a sit-out power bomb. And, and you got to think about, you know, the Savior here really does not want to... Uh, to lose this title because he has business to handle with the outsider as far as championships go and a spear but he doesn't go for the pin he kicks him in the back I don't understand that I use the spear so when I hit it I'm trying to go for a pin anyway there goes that modified capture suplex we're not sure what he calls that yet but we're into the pin and one just a one count here but as I was saying the savior has business with the outsider because well the outsider beat him in the first round of the world title tournament so there's that and purple haze ooh, purple haze breaking out of that move there looked like he was going for that oh ooh, modified Celtic cross uh, he calls it the haze all right well, he hit the haze, but only got a two count out of it. But uh, the Savior did lose to the Outsider, who did go on to become champion. But I don't think that matters to him, because I've heard that he was not a big fan of it. And Purple Haze now with the dancing and all that, and getting a little soul glow on his hand before he punches the Savior in the face. And now working on that arm. Twice over. And let's see what he goes from there. He gets a kick to that to that stiff hair. And there's another spear. I'm tired of people using the spear if you're not going to go for the pin afterwards. That is a finishing move. And then a shoulder block for his problems. And the Savior tried to roll out of the ring. But Purple Haze uh, apparently has a little more veteran status than I'm giving him credit for. The back suplex into a pin. But a rope break was called. And he went for the full Nelson something or another, but the Savior managed to reverse it and get out of that. And here we go with that modified capture suplex again. And then just steps on the face and, and a cross face here. Uh, uh, 
and he's got I mean there's nowhere for Hayes to go he's in the middle of the ring is he gonna tap out it uh, doesn't look like it he breaks the hands punches him right in the face but you can tell just by how he got up that that did work on my arm some and here goes the savior with that that pickup walks him all the way where is he going well, wherever he was going, he kind of screwed that up. Purple Haze gets the reversal. And uh, a strong bionic elbow right to the head. And he's going for a pen off that. Barely a one count. I'm surprised he even got the one count on that one. And a kick to the back, but the Savior is tired of being kicked. He misses that kick. A snap mirror takeover. And a receipt from earlier with that stretch. And the ref right there. I'm guessing that this is actually supposed to be a submission move. And whoo, boy, he's really wrenching there on Purple Haze. The ref right there looking at it. And the Savior finally lets him go. I was like, man, is he just going to hold him with that forever? And Purple Haze giving him another shoulder block. And he's, I don't know what that was, but it was eccentric. And, ooh, what nice. I thought it was going to be a backbreaker, but he turned it into a power bomb. And, uh-oh, Purple Haze grabs him up. There go them lights again. And that was just a vertical suplex. I thought he was going for something special there. <laughs> Purple Haze steps on the back of his head. And... Mm. Now, I, you know why I hate that move? I hate that move there because it takes away your airflow. It really does because it just kind of compresses your stomach and all that. And, and, mm. and he power bombs him and goes for the pin. Just a two count and all oh, into that Boston Crab. Uh, and, and, and purple haze he's right there at the ropes he just needs to like move a little bit so that he can get the break there but it didn't matter he was able to get free and the savior just not happy that he's still standing but good lord super kick into a German suplex and I think that the savior has had enough of purple haze here and out of two challengers, he's he's giving him a he's giving him a bit of a problem, but only a two count again. Uh, you gotta commend Purple Haze here on this. He's he's really fighting here, and there goes the savior, throwing him off the ropes, spinning heel kick. A second, what else we got going on here? And into a neck breaker. And the savior wanting him to get up here. And he gets up and uh-oh, Purple Haze reverses whatever he was going for there and clotheslines him into the corner and gives him a stomp. Now he's lifting him up, gets pushed off. And Purple Haze has him on his shoulder again. Hits him with that haze, the haze. One, two, just a two count. But I think that's about as close to a three as you can get without actually getting the three. Um. Hayes isn't having it. He's back on him, picks him up off the rope, and just a kick right to the head. But now is not the time for him to be taunting to the crowd. He needs to go ahead and get on top of the Savior before he loses this match. Oh, with a springboard crossbody. That's a first. And then that smile that just kind of creeped me out. I'm a little afraid. And the Savior with that back elbow just just fighting it off. And there's that spear for the third time this match. And I think he's going to follow that up with something here. Let's see what he goes for. Oh, oh this is that weird power bomb that he does. Let's see if it gets him to three count finally on Mr. Hayes. And yes, it does. So with that in mind next week 
right here on Voltage as we head towards our next pay-per-view that I'm just now mentioning called Show of Strength. The Savior will be taking on Adam Stasiak for the NHW Television Championship. And I think that could be a good one. Um, I don't think there's any stopping the Savior right now. He's really, uh, really focused on getting his hands on the outsider. But once again, as I said, congratulations to him. Good to see him with his second title defense out of eight. Just six more to go, guy. So full of himself. And Justice already in the ring. And Johnny Diamond just gonna charge in and they're just ready to go. He just, just goes ahead and takes him down and they're just throwing well, Johnny's throwing fists. I don't think he liked being attacked by uh by Justice last week. And so here we go. Let's get this match underway. Mm, high knees starting it off. And I, I, as a friend of Justice, I, I know why he's doing this. And it has nothing to do with me. And this is for him. He he wants to know if he can uh, if he can do it for himself. So I, I'm not mad at him. You know, get get your weight up. You know, get on out here and get you some of this singles competition in. And when he approached me with. Mm, German suplex on the back of his head when he when he asked me about this you know just being like hey in NHW I don't want to be a tag team wrestler here I want to do a little singles work I was like okay sure uh, Franco gave him the original okay and I just kind of went with it because you know he is my homie but um, if I'm not mistaken Mr. Diamond or Wheeler or whatever he wants to be called He's the one that called out Justice, and so here we are. You know, these two are fighting. This is not for the title. This is just a, oh, that was a slow German, and back outside the ring we go. Justice slowly getting up as he props up on the top rope, and bionic elbow right to the top of his head. But yeah, you know, I'm actually kind of excited for this, you know, depending on how this goes at our pay-per-view show of strength, which is going to be NHW's biggest show of the year. Yeah, now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in May or June. It depends on how we shape things up here, but uh, show of strength will be our next pay-per-view and justice just getting worked out right now ref at the count of six they need to get back in the ring here and right now Johnny Diamond as he calls himself is in the uh, in control and as I said that justice was in control but just kind of stood there and again this is not justice's forte he's 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 stuck in a bad place like I was he's a He's a tag team wrestler. Oh. Oh, the DC Destroyer? Will he get him off of that referee? What are you doing, one? Just a one count. I think I counted to five, though. The referee just over there doing what he wants to do. But, um, you know, Justice, he's in a weird spot as a tag team wrestler. He, he This isn't his forte, so he's really going to have to work his way here. And what is he going for? Well, I don't know what he was going for, but he's dead now. He just got caught by Johnny Diamond with that cutter after he dove off the top rope and he hooks the leg. One, two, and just a two count. I am actually surprised. That cutter was rude. Very rude. And Diamond not happy about it and puts his knee in his back and starts pulling back on his head and ref. It should be, well, it's close to a rope break. I don't know if his hand is right under the rope, but it didn't matter. It's just as broke free. And Justice does have a few submissions and knows about a couple of them, so. Oh, 
never mind. Um, he just threw him up in the air and brought him down to the knees with that code breaker into position one, two, just a two count. And Justice can't believe it. I, I kind of can't believe it. That's two high and heavy finishers back to back. And neither one could keep the other one down. And here goes Justice with his patented moves. Into the corner with the splash. Off the ropes. Misses the clothesline. Gives one of his own. And kips right on up. And he is ready for action. Kicks Diamond in the stomach. And he throws him in the corner now. Is he going to try for it again? Looks like he is. Kick to the knee takes him down. Oh, the DC Destroyer is up and down. And I'm pretty sure that Johnny Diamond is seeing all kinds of colors and dots. And what is Justice doing? He should have went for the pin there. Oh, is he going for that submission move of his? Nope. He just kind of works out that arm. And he's going to the corner now. Uh-oh. The Baltimore boot. Is that is that what we got going there? Yep, there it is. The Baltimore boot into the pin. One, two, just a two count. I am surprised. He has given him all that he can handle. I don't I don't know if there's anything else that he can give him. And he brings him up to his knees and a deadlift German suplex. Just just power right there from the from the barely light heavyweight or barely junior heavyweight I should say as far as we go. Justice Rage. And just stretching him out there and oh God, right on the arm. That was not necessary throws him into the corner again i know justice is tired of him this is the third time that he has gone for the dc destroyer there it is again and this time he does go for the pin right in the middle of the ring don't know where the ref was going one two three and justice rage has pinned the junior heavyweight champion i mean so with that in mind, let's go ahead and make it official. At the pay-per-view show of strength, it will be Justice Rage taking on Johnny Diamond for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Um, wow, I don't, I don't even know what to say about that. That was a uh, an interesting match. Just a lot of heavy hitting and hard hits, and you see Justice there. Uh, he should have went for the pin directly after that code breaker, but he uh, he opted to uh, to taunt a little, and that probably is what cost him the three. But that one right there, that was the second one where he let him kind of get up, and then you see that Baltimore boot for the culture, I believe. <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. So Justice Rage, as we said, he will be getting a title opportunity for his first singles title uh, going for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. And I did check and he barely made weight, but he did make it. So congratulations to him. And now it is main event time as... Uh, yeah, there they come. The Black Excellence. The Accompanied by Isaiah Muhammad. And at a combined weight of 535 pounds, King Malcolm Kareem and Bishop Stone. And once again, this is Black Excellence coming to the ring. And this is the first we've gotten to see of King Malcolm actually in the ring. So... Um, his two cohorts there next to him, they are the number one contenders for the tag team titles, of which we will see the tag team champions in action uh, next week. And, um, high energy. If Yeah, I'm looking at it right. And now coming out first, this is a surprise, but I think he wants to go ahead and get to the ring so that, uh, you know, 
he can look the man that keeps attacking him in the eye. We have our world's heavyweight champion. Uh, this is the outsider. Um, yeah, there he is. And because... Uh, And our announcer there is a little drunk. Uh, I don't know why she had to say champion twice, but it's all right. I'm not going, I'm not going to get rid of her yet. Anyway, um, but yeah, I had Aaron, uh, which is my security since he doesn't wrestle anymore because of that bad neck of his. But I had him accompany the outsider to the ring for this match because I'm tired of the attack. And I knew that Black Excellence would bring their entire squadron aside from Amaya to the ring um so you know that was why I had Aaron and he's had security on deck for the outsider for the majority of uh the day just to make sure that nothing happened no more attacks I'm I'm I'm, I'm not with it you know what I mean you want the world champion he's he's gonna give you your opportunity at show of strength he already said that but this is more because last week was just unnecessary, you know, and he's been making a statement, hey, I want to see the world champion. So that's what he's going to get. But he kind of screwed this upcoming man as well. So, you know, that's kind of uh, why we're in this match. Um, yeah, there he goes, breaking my, uh, breaking my Titan Tron again. And his partner from Winnipeg. Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 241 pounds, the Wanderer ECC. And ECC coming to the ring here. You know, last week was supposed to be a one off. He was supposed to come on, you know, promote himself a little bit, promote uh, worldwide wrestling, but he was attacked. He didn't even get a chance to actually show what he can do. So, as far as this match goes, why not? This this tag team match makes perfect sense. Uh, let him get out here and let him... Oh, dear. Oh, Jesus. Biting at it. But, yeah. Let him get out here and let him show what he can do. Let him get his hands on the people, on the group that essentially, you know, took his debut match here in NHW away from him. And, and here we go. Him and you know what? I might ask if he wants to come back and face Purple Haze for the rights to um, molesting my ring. I'm I'm not okay with this. Um, I I see Aaron's face, and he's just gonna keep his glasses on. I believe he he's a little confused. Um, but yeah, this eccentric man, this uh, man who loves the leaf. As you see on his uh, on his shoes and his uh, tights there, um, ECC here. Uh, this tag team match is going to be just that, hopefully. Hopefully we don't have a bunch of shenanigans, but at this moment I'm not a big trusting person of Black Excellence. Uh, but here we go. And in a weird showing here the outsider is starting against king malcolm and king malcolm just just got sent head over heels and ooh and he's a crafty little guy there ran up the ropes gave a hurricane runner and the outsider is going to have to try to find a way to neutralize the speed cuz that's a it's going to be a problem the outsider is more of a power type of player um he's not used to being out outspeeded that's not a word and that drop kick yeah see that power he wasn't able to take him down with that drop kick but uh here we go the outsider taking him and ooh, an elbow to the face that speed that we mentioned and the other two men over there as we said are the number one contenders for the uh NHW tag team titles so you know Black Excellence is just showing themselves around NHW 
I, everybody's got to get a shot, but I guess we're going to start here. So it is what it is. But uh, after the tag here, it's the powerhouse of this tag team going on right now. And the outsider now with the deadlift suplex there. And again, that's what we said. The outsider is about his power. Now he's going to throw him into the corner now. And tag into ECC. And ECC with a shot to the midsection. And just gets overpowered there. Punch to the face. Another one. And now he's going to get this just straight up power bomb. Just deadlifts him into a power bomb. So, you know, this this uh this could be a problem. And now he's just just punches. Just punches. And you can see Aaron's a little concerned there. Um, but he's looking around as he should be. You know, security. Duh. Um now wrenching the neck there of ECC. And King Malcolm sure didn't stay in the ring very long because I know the ECC wants to get his hands on him. A rake of the eyes. And ooh, back elbow there. And throws him into the corner. And as I say that, King Malcolm gets back in the ring and starts working on the arm of ECC. And ooh, a heavy drop kick. Outsider looking for the tag and gets the hot tag. Outsider's in. Forearm shot to King Malcolm. Clothesline. And went for a drop kick of his own that he whiffed. And King Malcolm lifting up. Um the outsider and wait is this a, oh a middle rope neck breaker that's kind of unnecessary a little cool though but he throws him back into the corner ref bump and outsider reverses it and gets out of harm's way gets over to his own corner but there's nobody there for him to tag ECC is just getting up off the ground so he's going to introduce him to the turnbuckle a couple of times and, ooh, just kind of fell down and he's going for the hot tag, but Outsider's not having any of it. And there's that flip over Hurricane Rana again. And I guess this is going to be an interesting match. Come, ooh, never mind. Super kick right to the face. And Aaron Abbott up on the apron. Why? I do not know. But, oh, I don't think it's going to matter. As he drops him on his neck. One, two. And just a two count there. Aaron caused enough of a distraction to keep the ref out of position. And now we have a tag here. And he's coming in and went for the stomp and missed it. And went for a clothesline, missed it, and just kind of punched him instead. You know, whatever. You know, as long as you get the job done. And there's the the nature call i don't know what he calls it he changed the name of it every week but he gets the one the two just a two count now lifts him up the crowd is on their feet as this has actually been a pretty good match the outsider showing what he can do in a tag team setting but as possibly mentioned from before he is a uh he was actually one half of the UNT Tag Team Champions with uh, Ben Frost there. Ooh. Who we saw last week in a losing effort towards uh, towards the Savior. And now he throws him into the corner. Tag to ECC. ECC comes in and gets the kick. And this is good tag team wrestling going on right here. And the outsider, not wanting to get back in right away, didn't go right to the corner. But now he is. And here's a, oh, it's just straight right hand. And another tag and a receipt for kicking him in the gut earlier. And wait, oh, running up the ropes again into that Hooten Conrana. Sending him almost all the way across the ring. King Malcolm now picking him up. He gives him a forearm, another one. And that snap German suplex just made my, my neck hurt. As a wrestler, I know what that feels like because I give it out sometimes and Justice was famous for training with that and it hurts. And ECC now being a little cocky, stepping on the King's face and kind of mushing it. Walks around. and He hasn't stayed in the match very long. I don't 
I don't know if that's because he's um, got tree in his system or if he just doesn't want to uh, or if he wants to let the outsider get the uh, the revenge that he's been needing. Ooh, Ooh modified flatliner there. And outsider picks up the king and misses. And that speed is really killing outsider right now. It's his Achilles heel at the moment. I mean, when, when him and Bishop go at it, you know, they're uh, all oh, double super kick. That that might be the sleep the sleep call. But when him and Bishop are in the ring, oh, spoke too soon. When him and Bishop are in the ring, they've been going at it pretty steadily. But that spear right there was uh, the curtain call. And Aaron up on the apron now. And just, just kind of broken down. ECC just got a hurricane run and slid out the ring. And King Bishop now throws him on the apron. And uh, Bishop decides he's going to bring him back in hard way with a nice suplex over the top rope. Turns his head to the side and steps on the side of his head there. Just, just rude. And throws him over the top rope again. Is he going to go for it a second time? He said it worked the first time. Why not? Let's give him a second one. And suplex back into the ring. King Malcolm looks like he's a little tired, but he has taken some damage in this match. And Bishop just just working on the champion now. Uh, showing his tag team prowess as he's been working very well with King here. And then just working on the arm now as the outsider. And lifts him up by his, head, by his ears and just threw him down. And there's ECC just able to get off the ground. And walking back over to his corner. Bishop and the King just working like a well-oiled machine here. Working on the midsection of the outsider. And he picks him up. And he's just going to walk him around a little bit. Puts him on his shoulder. And hangs him up by his throat. And outsider needs to get out of this match. He needs to get out of there in the worst way. That running flatliner just takes him down. And the King is... He's tired. He's, he's had a rough night. So, you know, that's the thing. And lifts him up in the air. Ooh, outsider with the reversal. And picks him up in the air and gets reversed himself into a DDT. And now, King Bishop is calling for him to get up. And kicks him right in the gut. And there it is. Up and down. King's Landing. One two three and woo ECC goes for the ride anyway as black excellence has picked up a win and as a total the on the male side at least have still not lost a match here in NHW um, this is a huge huge win for Black Excellence here, the, the picking up a win over the world champion and um, someone from uh, PWR and, and, and UWA, uh, I'm, I'm ECC, I mean they just, it was a good tag team match but you can tell where the team was, the, the, the oiled machine and there they are, cele are celebrating their win. Welcome. 